Once you have set up the UV, I'm going to show you how to install the bulb ballast sleeve. In the box with the UV housing, there will be one bulb and one quart sleeve, one ballast. The ballast, inside the ballast box, there will be two gaskets in a bag. One is a tapered uh, gasket and then there is an o-ring. This tapered gasket seals the quart sleeve as well as this uh, seals the edge of the quart sleeve. The first thing you do, you take the small o-ring, slide it through and put it in this gap right here that you see. It will slide in and what it does is it once the quart sleeve goes in, it will, it will see, seal the edges of the quart sleeve uh, from any moisture going in. In the UV, there is a side that has the threads on it and the other side is flat. You can switch them around however you want it. They're both pretty much the same standard size. Uh, and this is the, the threaded side is where the quartz sleeve and bulb will go in. Unscrew this part. You'll see the o-ring is here. This o-ring seals uh, the viewport. Uh, so make sure the o-ring is there. Um, keep this part here. I will slide the two inch uh, nut over the cable. So just, just so that I don't forget after it's installed. Uh, take the quartz sleeve flatten in first like this take the rubber gasket the tapered end first so make sure the tapered end goes in first uh, once this is installed like this um, you'll see that it, it sits in fine because the tapering is matches the tapering on here and it fits compressed then once this is done you take the bulb the UV quartz uh, uh, bulb uh, the little red dot uh, the mercury dot shows that it's an amalgam bulb so this is a 55 watt UV that we are installing. Um, put a little uh, ring around the big tail here so it slides in easy. Put it in there. The four pin connector for the bulb and the quartz sleeve are rectangular so make sure they match. They're not square so they have to be matched properly otherwise you can damage it. Just once it's once it locks in this this part you have to be a little careful make sure that it goes in straight without any any rough movements because otherwise it can crack the quartz sleeve uh, here you see I've already installed the little o-ring on the inside so that o-ring is going to seal the edge of the quartz sleeve when the quartz sleeve cap comes on place and gets compressed here you see this little uh, there's a little rubber part here just make sure that this is locked in in place by the way just to give you an idea what it does it's this so this rubber part is the mechanism that seals compress seals the the cable with the quartz leaf so no moisture goes in make sure this is on the black um, cover of the cable and then you slide it onto the UV um, cap push all of them in like this the, the, the rubber part is here and you see this when you where, this is the part that seals uh, and compression seals the quartz sleeve uh, this flatten of the rubber will compress with the flatten of this cap and it seals the quartz sleeve in place now here is what you do you hold this part and gently screw it on And make sure it's straight it's not angled because you can cross thread it once it's tight just gently move it and move the quartz sleeve and you, you'll notice don't don't do use too much force because you can crack it and hurt yourself just do gently so there's no movement in the quartz sleeve this shows that it's tight it's it's installed properly uh, when if you touch it make sure it's, use some alcohol swab or something to just wipe it so that there's no uh, handprints on the uh, quartz sleeve or the bulb um, there's some, you know, on the on the O-rings there'll be silicone lubricants. So just make sure if your silicone is uh, on your fingers, it's not um, on the quartz leaf. Then you put it in straight. There is a there is a receptacle for the quartz leaf, which means that on on this end is also a little, little receptacle which the quartz leaf will sit in. So make sure that that it, it, it goes in straight. And both ends are, 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 are installed tightly. Once it's installed, you take this part.
there we go tighten both by hand and you can use the wrench just a half an inch more and that should tighten it now your installation is complete your quartz sleeve is now and uh, is, is sealed with the rest of the housing once your uv is plumbed and installed properly your ballast this particular ballast comes with amalgam uvs only uh, put the power connection in here it, make sure it's installed in a place where moisture cannot get in there and then you when you connect it to the gfci protected switch turn it on and you can see that the counter starts with 365 days and a green light will come on after you press the button uh, which means the uh, quartz sleeve is on right here you can see the quartz sleeve is on so when you press the button the quartz sleeve turns on two ways to see it one here and one here 